And for Off the Block, I'm Vinny Lopes, and we are now joined by Ryan Boer after his team got a big road victory against Mount Olive, winning in five games to remain undefeated in Conference Carolina play. And Coach, I have to ask you, how would you assess your team's play today, you know, taking on one of the top teams in the conference? Oh, uh, you know, it, we knew it was going to be a battle and, and a good match, and uh uh, you know, uh, I thought we were resilient. I thought we could have folded, and and you know, with the leadership we have, we came out on top in a very tightly contested match. So, yeah. uh, well, talking about some some of that leadership on the court, especially some of your seniors. You know, you have a senior setter in Nick Nick Drucker, and then you know Jeff Sprayberry. You know, what are those two really able to provide to your team, both on the court and then just some of the intangibles? Uh, you know, uh, when they came here four years ago, you know, I put them in the starting lineup and they've just taken over since then. And, uh, you know, just the confidence both of them have. And, you know, they expect a lot of their teammates, but they're also, you know, there to help. And there's days they each can lean off each other or one has, a, you know, the better night and feed off each other. But they also do a great job with, you know, Nick does a great job distributing the ball around and keeping our offense balanced. And, and Jeff is just, you know, we know we can go to him if we need a big point. So uh, they, they just do a great job on and off the court as well as leaders, you know, keeping our young guys into, you know, pushing us every practice and, and, and making sure that they, they feel like they're still a part of the team. Well, talking about, you know, Nick this season running your offense, you, know, you guys have been hitting more than 300 for most of the year. But, you know, today, obviously, you know, didn't hit 300, but still a good offensive showing. Do you feel that this was one of the tougher defensive matchups he had all season long? Oh, very much so. Uh, Mount Olive, and even in their match against Barton and against us, they blocked really well. Um, uh, Donahue is just a phen- phenomenal libero, and he-, he plays great defense. And, you know, it was it was one of those, like, neither team wanted to let the ball hit the floor at times. and. And, uh, you know, it was very definitely a tough matchup. And they serve well, too, which gets a little bit off balance as well. Well, we talked about a couple of players who've been established, but one player seems to have really come on strong for you this season. It's been the play of Bell. And tonight, 19 kills for you guys. What has he been able to do to really elevate his play this season for you guys? You know, uh, Kyle is just a phenomenal. And he has his uh, athlete. And, well, the other part of him, he's just got a great volleyball IQ. And, um you know, and, and and he's another one of the leaders, a uh, senior leader on the team that just keeps everybody, brings everybody in. But man, he he sees the court well, makes good decisions, and then you know, for he's only about six one, but he jumps out of the gym. So you know, he uses that to his advantage. Yeah, and kind of looking at the conference as a whole this season, you know, it seems starting out it very much turned into a three team race between you, Bart, and Mount Olive with. But that being said, how big was it for you guys to get get the win today against you know another possible conference favorite? Uh, you know, I thought it was a big win for us, especially on the road. Um, coming into uh, you know, we we knew coming into this weekend it was going to be a big weekend for us, and uh, you know, it, it probably would have been tough to lose this one today to go into Barton tomorrow. So getting that win was was a great sort of boost for us uh, going into tomorrow. And, and we knew both these teams were going to be tough. I mean, I think every match, but our last one last year went five with between us and Mount Olive and us and Barton. So we just know it's going to be one of those. It's going to be a knockdown drag out fight. <laughs> yeah. Well, talking about, you know, um, going up against Barton, you know, just, uh, just how difficult is this weekend for you guys, you know, playing, you know, two of the top teams in the conference on back to back nights? <laughs> Yeah, that's that's, that's an awesome part of our conference schedule. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's tough, but I, you know, I feel like that's you know, I, I'd rather have it that way than than easy and or have like a big long break. Uh, it's just it's just because the distance between our schools that we can get them both in. So, but yeah, it's tough going back against both those teams because it's just like you like a heavyweight fight, just taking shots and shots and just keep trying to get back up and and go at it and. Uh, uh, they uh, they're both great teams and well coached, so it's 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 a, it's a lot of fun. I look forward to it. Okay. All right, coach. And one final question, and we'll we'll let you go on this. You know, last year you guys were able to um, you know get a share of the conference championship, but unfortunately, you know, you didn't get the number one overall seat, so you didn't get to host the conference tournament. How important is it for you guys this year to win the conference tournament or win the conference regular season outright, so you get to host the tournament? 
uh, it's, it's one of our team goals this year uh, is to be able to do that because uh, we've never done that in the history of our program. And, uh, you know, it, it's big because, one, you get to sleep in your own beds and play the next day, and you don't have to worry about all the travel. And, and it's at your home court where hopefully we can get a bunch of people out and support us and, and do the thing. So I think it's big. Yeah, another reason this weekend's big for us uh, is to try to get to both matches in the win column. And, uh, you know, if not, we'll just give our best effort and then see what the rest of the season lays it up for us. So.